see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. We can go. So again, I need your uh, guidance and help to read it and uh, uh, provide purport. Uh, each one of you are uh, advanced uh, in many different ways. So please help others as well as we get ready for this month of Dhamma. It's, it's a blessing in disguise. Maybe let's see how many slides we can go through uh, because we want to start uh, in the right uh, mode, uh, following the right thing. So um, glories of the month uh, of Damodar or Karthik. So it is starting on Thursday. Um, according to Hari Bhakti Vilasa, this is the 16th Vilasa. And uh, everything that we need to know about Hari Bhakti Vilas is in the, uh, about the month of Damodar is in Hari Bhakti Vilas. And it's captured from many other uh, Puranas as well. So it's got 438 verses. Uh, the entire Vilasa or the chapter is about uh, the month of uh, Damodar. And uh, this, um, let me see who's joined in. Yes, I don't think so. It's Prabhu yet. Uh, so Damodar Ashtakam prayers are also found within this Hari Bhakti Vilas because it's, 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 it's pulled together from other sources as well. And I just put the reference there within the Hari Bhakti Vilas, 16th Vilasa, where, where is this Damodar Ashtakam? Okay, so um, we can get started off um, uh, from this. Maybe can somebody read this, please? You know, take take turns, and then we can read it quickly because you through you we are going to learn this. The duty of the month of Karthik and clearly describing the Skanda Purana, Patma Purana, and other scripture. The essence of what they say is corrected there in one place. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, maybe we can take, uh, we can get different devotees to read it. If you're comfortable with uh, the transliteration, do it. But if not, uh, just the English uh, uh, translation is good. And you don't have to can wait, I you can just, somebody can start. Yeah, I don't even add, ask permission, just start. And then uh, we'll all get enough chances because there are only about 13 of us, right? So we have many verses. Okay, Prabhu, uh, is, should I read the one in English, uh, in, sorry, in blue? Uh, no need, no need. Okay. Vratam tu kartike masi yadana kurute grihi ishta purtam brata tasye yavad ahuta naraki. If a householder does not follow the vow of Kartika, his pious and charitable deeds do, do, no, do him no good. They. Prabhu, can you scroll up a little bit? Uh, this is the full screen I have. Uh, what, what? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm... Oh, sorry, Prabhu. I can zoom it. Okay. They become like the screams of a person in hell. Yeah, wow. maybe maybe you're... Uh, I mean, it, it starts off with, uh, you know, little, little stern uh, verses and then it uh, gets to what we need to do. So maybe after you read it, maybe you can just provide uh, a 30-second commentary on what stands out and what we need to do. That'll be great. Uh, I'm only going it. to reproduce whatever I've heard from you, Prabhu. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, what, so, what you read from this uh, verse, right? So you can just, what stands out, you can just uh, tell in our, your own words so that we can benefit. Yes, Prabhu. So this month of Kartika is the most auspicious. And I think this is the fourth month of the Chaturmasya Vrata, where uh, after this, the Lord wakes up from his uh, sleep. So it's the most, uh, so it is just a little before the Brahma Muhurta time because usually the Margasish month is supposed to be the Brahma Muhurta time of uh, the Lord. So this comes a little ahead of that Brahma Muhurta where it's a very auspicious uh, time to, you know, uh, uh, worship Lord uh, Krishna. And, uh, and it's the most uh, fortunate people will do a lot of charitable deeds uh, and if they do not do it, then it's like they are um, accessing themselves to the doorway of hell. Yeah, uh, thank you. So here, you know, when you read this, it says, you know, householders, right? That's each one of us, the 13 of us uh, who are in this uh, Zoom call. So we are all householders. And it is said that we have to follow it. If we don't follow, we may do all this pious uh, and charitable deeds, giving this donation to this hospital or whatever charitable, right? Like it could be anything It's so far and wide. So whatever we do, uh, the impact, the positive impact will not be there. And, and the analogy that is given is, it's like the screams of a person in hell, you know, who's going to save him? There's nobody who's going to save him there. Unless of course Krishna decides to save, but 
yeah, nobody's going to hear that. It's, it's useless. So the good deeds will not be useful if we don't follow the Kartik trend. That's what it says. Okay, thank you, Mother. So we will get uh, another devotee to read. Again, please feel free to read the transliteration that is the Sanskrit. If not, English is good. Forget about what is there in blue. Anyone else? Somebody please start, uh, you know, right away because we don't have too much time. We have a lot of verses. A person who does not follow the Kartika vows finds his life pious deed burnt to ashes. Anything so, to add, Mother? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we don't follow, then uh, like our life, like it says, the burns to ashes. So, you know, when we die, it's, that's there. It's like we'll be burned. So. And yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's from the previous verse, it says, even if you're doing simultaneously good things, um, you know, it is, it is not going to be that effective. But here it says, even though we may have done everything that is supposed to be pious, not spiritual, but pious, you know, doing good to others, etc. If it is not dovetailed into, um, you know, God consciousness, knowing that uh, Paramatma is in the heart, etc. So whatever life's pious deeds that, deeds that we did, 40 years, 50 years. But if we don't follow this Karthik wow, that is during this one month, uh, then whatever we did is also burned to ashes. That's what it says here. Okay. So again, these are little stern sort of uh, starting uh, uh, verses, but then we'll get to know what we need to do. Okay. Anyone else? Hare Krishna. Yes. Yeah, Prabhu, can I add to it? Hare Krishna, uh, Prabhu, can I add something to it? Please. Uh, actually, uh, this Kartik month, what I suppose it's actually for the for us. I mean, it's for Grahastas because uh, already the people who are uh, I mean, Brahmacharis or Sanyasis, they are already for uh, you know following the vows uh, because you know for them to get up in. Uh, for the Brahmurat or doing everything, they are doing it as, as a routine. But for Grahastas, it's important because even if they have not done it for the whole year, but at least they can make an effort to get up uh, during Brahmurat and do their, um, you know, uh, this um, uh, devotion uh, properly and with that uh, focus, one single pointed focus, at least in this one month, they can at least get some uh, pious credits as well. Because for rest of the uh, uh, these brahmacharis and sannyasis, they are already following. But for grahasthas, because they might take it seriously, because this is a Kartik month, and we need to mm -hmm. grab this opportunity. So they might, uh, because of this thing, get up in the Brahmurat and follow their. Uh, okay, thank you. Who's this? Uh, what's uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm uh, Anuradha Devi Dasi. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing that, uh, mother. But just, uh, but just uh, you know, this is. And it's not just the one aspect of waking up in the Brahma Mohurta, which, you know, uh, the Brahmacharis and uh, Sannyasis uh, are doing. Uh, but of course, uh, the, the Kartik vow is much uh, broader in scope, right? Like we, we, we do the Dhamotarashtakam, we sing the Dhamotarashtakam and offer the Arati in that 4, 2, 3, 7 uh, and, and, and um, uh, you know, other aspects as well. So definitely the brahmacharis and sannyasis are also um, following this because this is meant for everybody but you're right uh, this is especially beneficial for uh, uh, grahasthas as we saw read in the first verse householders right so uh, this yeah. is a great opportunity in this short period of time uh, we can offset many things that uh, we may not have uh, done earlier as well thank you for sharing that mother hari krishna hari krishna okay so we will get another devotee to read this Okay, I'll read for book. Samprapte Kartike Masi Yeratana Janardane Tesham Sauri Puri Vasha Pitrivi Saha Narada. It is further said, O Narada, they who do not worship Lord Krishna during the month of Kartika reside along with their ancestors in hell. So, Prabhu, most of these verses are saying that. Um, if we don't follow the vows of Kartik, uh, what will happen? So in this case, if we don't do the worship to Lord Krishna, especially in this month of Kartik, 
then um, we'll be residing in hell along with our ancestors. So we're not helping anyone. Um, good point, good case, point. We are, we're, drag, we're dragging our loved ones, uh, you know, our ancestors also. Uh, they may be us. not have reached uh, their destination yet. And uh, we are dragging them along to uh, this hellish planet. That's what it says. Yes. Okay, thank you for sharing that, Mother. Okay, we'll get another devotee to read this. English is good enough. Again, the translation is good, the bottom part of the screen. So all of you feel comfortable to jump in and read, please. Can I, Prabhu? Please, please. The pious results obtained in uh, bathing in all the holy places and giving all charities is not equal to one ten million uh, part of the results obtained by following the vows of a uh, Kartik. Uh, actually, mm, uh, for uh, this uh, Kartik month, whatever uh, pious credits we are getting, uh, in fact, it's only if we do you know, the two main things which we do, that is one is offering a lamp and uh, singing Damodar Ashtikam. So we get uh, many, many, uh, many pious uh, credits get, uh, get, uh, get, uh, we get many pious credits. If we just follow these two things, that is, you know, offering a lamp and singing uh, Damodar Ashtikam. Yeah, uh, uh, there are quite a few options that are there, uh, like a like a menu of what we need to do during the month of Karthik. It's it's fairly simple: hearing Shrimad Bhagavatam, reading Bhagavad Gita, chanting. Um, you know, of course, as you mentioned, uh, uh, reading the Dhamodrashtakam, offering Arati, etc. Right. Uh, but those are all part of the vows of Karthik. Uh, but here, uh, as you rightly mentioned. You know, uh, the pious result obtained, you know, when we go to uh, in all, the key word is all bathing in all holy places and giving all charities. Right. So it's like unlimited. Right. We may be going to all the holy places. It could be, um, you know, you, I mean, unlimited holy places are there and then bathing in all the holy rivers within those holy places, uh, Ganga, Yamuna, etc. So it's it's all great. Uh, and charity, you know, all sorts of charities, right? Krishna talks about it in the 17th chapter, uh, but that is not even close uh, to the result obtained in following the vow of Karthik. So, especially during this uh, uh, during this COVID times, we can't travel. It's it's not uh, very easy to go, and especially now it's uh, you know it's getting colder. You can't take bath in you know you can't go to Gangotri and take bath at any time. Forget about this time. Uh, it may not even be open now. So anyway, we have this option here, this great opportunity uh, right in the comfort of our home without spending for the flight ticket and, you know, traveling in the midst of this COVID pandemic. Uh, we get all the benefit. So thank you for that. So this this makes it slowly. Yeah, you have to do it. And if you don't do it, these are all the problems. But then what you're doing is it's so easy that you don't have to go uh go to another country or take bath, etc. anywhere else. So at no cost. Okay. Uh, in fact, even if you do something unintentionally, that also will bear the fruits. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we'll get uh, Dear Nithai Prabhu, are you there? Okay, Bhakti Vinod Prabhu. We just want everybody to participate, please. You know, we have month of Damodar. When you read this, uh, we are learning from you. Kartika is the best. Kartika is the best of the months, the most pious of pious deeds, the most purifying of all that purify. Mm, I can't really add to that. It's the best of all months. Mm -hmm. It's the most pious of all pious deeds, and most purifying of all that purify. Yeah, so it's, a, it's the ultimate, right? Like so, it, it yeah, tells yeah. us that if you participate, there's nothing much better than this. Uh, especially at this point in time, right, during this month of Kartik. So, yeah, as you rightly said, uh, the, the verse says it all, right? Uh, uh, there's no purport needed. So thank you for reading that, Prabhu. Thanks, Prabhu. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Mother Sharon is there. English translation is good. Okay. So if you're, uh, you can unmute yourself and speak. Uh, Mahendra Bhagat Prabhu, Om Varma, Om Parma Prabhu, anybody? All of you don't get a chance to read all this normally on Sundays. Today we have this opportunity a few days before the month of Karthik. Okay, I'm going to read. All of you are shy. Of the 12 months, Karthik is the most dear to Lord Krishna. 
to anyone who even slightly worships Lord Vishnu during its time, uh, the month of Karthi gives residence in Lord Vishnu's transcendental abode. So uh, we offer this lamp, which is again very easy for us to offer, sing the Dhamodarashtakam and you know, do the other things that are fairly simple uh, to follow. Uh, the, the end result is uh, the ultimate, which is going to uh, uh, Goloka, Vrindavan or Vaikunta. Okay, anyone else would like to read this? Please uh, jump Krishna. in as fast as you can. Go ahead. One who sometimes fast during Kartika attains liberation. He attained a glorious spiritual form like Lord Krishna. So it's saying here that uh, one who fasts during the month of Kartika gained liberation and he also uh, gained the, the appearance of that form that Krishna has. Yeah, and, and we, we read that, right? During this, yeah. uh, uh, when we read the fourth canto of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam during the Duru Maharaj's pastime, when we read the sixth canto, Ajamil's pastime, when the uh, Vishnu Dudas come and they take uh, them to the spiritual world, the description of uh, those Vishnu Dudas are there and they have the form similar to uh, uh, the forearm form of Lord uh, Vishnu or Krishna, right? But uh, the reason I underline this is one who sometimes, right? So that's why I underlined that. So, you know, it's very flexible, even during this month of Karthik, um, it, it says sometimes fast, right? So it's actual word uh, from the translation, sometimes fast, right? So, um, you know, people will have, uh, devotees will have limitation due to health concerns, etc. But even if they do it sometimes, uh, the impact is immense. That's what it says here. Okay. So Prabhu, when you say fasting, what does it mean? Like, how do how do you interpret fasting? So again, yeah. um, you know, even if we if you read the entire four hundred and thirty eight verses, right? Uh, it's as I said, it's so flexible. I don't think so. I put all those verses, uh, but but we are all devotees. It says if you in the month of Kartik, if you don't eat this meat, this meat, this meat. Yeah, you heard it right, right? If you don't eat rabbit and this and that, you get benefit. You get immense benefit. So it's almost like sacrificing something that you're used to, uh, that you are comfortable with. And even if you hold back on those things, right, then you get immense benefit. So when we say fasting, um, you, you know, if, if, you're, if you're eating um, a full, a full stomach, you eat a little less than that, or we eat fruits, you know, so it is relatively speaking as well, right? So everybody is in different uh, levels of uh, spiritual progression and uh, bodily needs. So, you know, so not going too deep into uh, reading into uh, uh, the words, sometimes fast, right? So it can be relatively speaking to that person. So whatever I'm comfortable with, if I go through some involuntary pain by going through this uh, extra fasting than what I'm used to, then it's an advantage. It's, it's a, you get the spiritual, ultimate uh, spiritual form like Krishna. That's what it says. You agree, Mother? Anything to add? Yes, Prabhu, yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay. Mother, will you be re uh, kind enough to read? Yeah. This yeah, thank you. <clears throat> One who regularly offers foods to Lord Krishna during the month of Kartik does not suffer troubles for as long as the 14th Indra's rule. He is free from troubles. Would you like to add something? Okay, so from for one who regularly offers food to Krishna during the month of Kartik does not suffer trouble. So we we offer food all the time. So it means mm -hmm. to say we continue doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we can make extra preparation if we so desire, because it's a special month. We can offer a little bit more. And for as long as the 14 <laughs> Indra, um, Indra's rule, he is free from trouble. So if we offer suitable, nice, palatable food to Krishna, there will be no trouble as long as per the ruling of the 14 Indra's. Yeah, great. Great point where you said, uh, you know, we all, uh, I think Mother Anuradha, I think was the one who spoke first as well, that, you know, the sannyasis and brahmacharis, they do wake up in the morning. So in this case, uh, uh, the table is turned because the grahastas, uh, you know, we have deities at home and uh, we do offer uh, something to Lord Krishna mm -hmm. every day, as you rightly said, Mother Dwarka. Mm -hmm. So we regularly offer, but then 
the value of that increases tremendously during this month of kartik right and it said that you will not suffer any trouble when we offer uh, to krishna because we are pleasing krishna so that's a general uh, statement but here it says uh, not suffer troubles um, and for a very long period of time right so we don't need to go into the details of uh, you know 14 indras and 71 manus and what not but for for such a long period of time uh we are free of troubles the word troubles is mentioned um, twice there right uh, is free of troubles does not suffer troubles so thank you so again the message is yeah can we offer anything extra during this month of kartik it's only few days uh, in the year okay anyone else uh, can i prabhu ji please kincha kincha ಗೀತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿನೋದಿನ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ ಮ್ಯೋ ನೈ ನರ ನಾತನರಾವೃತ್ತ ಮಾಯಾ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಕಲಾಪ್ರಿಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಓ ನಾರದ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲಿ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ರೀಡ್ಸ್ ಭಗವದ್ ಗೀತಾ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟು ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ from your standpoint okay so law, so it is said that those who read bhagavad gita um mostly do not return to this world in during kartik month do not return mostly do not return to this world of birth mm-hmm. yeah it doesn't say mostly uh it says does not right so that's a category a categorical statement again uh, mm-hmm. to be aligned with what we read uh, earlier as well right uh so um we we read bhagavad gita most of uh, us read almost every day or every day uh but then you happily read right so you know we just yeah. need to pick the right word as well right not yeah. grudgingly or looking at the watch okay i have to read it so that i place a check mark uh, during this month of kartik right uh mm-hmm. so happily reads bhagavad gita uh does not return right so categorical statement uh, from narada muni does not re- uh, return to this uh, world of birth and death so thank you for that so prabhu, different uh, different can i ask you a yeah. question prabhu yeah uh prabhu what is this kimcha and who who is speaking to who prabhu who is saying o narada uh, so i don't have the actual uh, uh you know who is it spoken to but uh, this should be from brahma right uh, this is uh, from brahma that's that's my memory okay, okay? thank so you so somebody is instructing brahma it will be you know be somebody higher than him right so it's either lord vishnu or brahma in this case if i remember it is uh, lord brahma okay anyone else hare rama sagasthakyam gajendrasya cha moksanam kartike padete astu punar janmana vidvindate a person who during the month of kartika reads the thousands holy names of lord hari vishnu sahasrama and the praise of gajendra does not take birth again gajendra prays shrimad bhagavatam 8.32229 so um, it says in a, a speciality of kartik month yes if you read the uh uh, uh, uh read uh, the vishnu sahasrama if you recite vishnu sahasrama and uh, read kartik month uh, the prayers uh, previously told in the bhagavad gita also if you read all the scriptures especially then uh, you uh, you will uh, you will liberate it yes that's that's what it says it, uh, gajen you know it's the prayers of gajendra does not take birth again it's like that you know so you don't have to come back this material world to um, uh, undergo all these uh, miseries yes yeah so again um the message direct message here there's no need of interpreting anything right so here this yeah. is our uh, uh, authorized uh, you know scripture from brahma madva gaudiya vaishnava sampradaya and yes. uh, this is by sanatan goswami one of the six goswamis and yeah. he put this this together based on the instruction of chaitanya mahaprabhu who's lord yes. krishna himself and yeah. here it says during this month of kartik 
if you yeah. read of course you read this at all times at any time as well but if you read the vishnu sahasranama and this yeah, was spoken right. by bhishma from the bed of arrows in front of lord krishna and lord krishna appreciated this and when 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 you chant this and the prayers of gajendra i, I put the reference there i just yeah. put the reference i put the reference at the bottom so that uh, we can easily read that uh, by going to vedabase.in it's a free website online website you can go and read this Uh, so anything to add prabhu yeah. uh, you you i think you mentioned yeah. this anything anything more yeah yeah uh, because vishnu sahasrama today also morning i i heard uh, you know uh, all this vishnu sahasrama so that is it's coming um, uh, uh, lord's names you know even uh, uh, krishna's name also is there so we can uh, there is no harm in it and uh, it's not krishna's also, name is also because this is chanted to krishna right and these are not yeah, yeah. like uh, the thousand names uh, that were invented by bhishma these yeah. are like the top top 10 songs of 2021 the top uh, 20, 100 songs of 2021 like that these are the top yeah. of the top names of lord krishna so our uh, acharya has explained that these names are eternal of krishna it's not like it just uh, was yeah. uh, narrated uh, 5000 years ago so yeah and, and it also krishna. and it also stress the value value and uh, emphasize the value of uh, you know that uh, vishnu sakshana that uh, how powerful it is said <laughs> yeah 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 thank you this is a beautiful verse and you got the right and we've been doing some yagya also on these uh, during the month of yes, kartik last yes, year yes. so yes, it's great so, so fortunate fortunate on all the credit goes to you <laughs> oh, okay anyone else when we say anyone anyone can jump in i don't need to call the names please go ahead we don't have much time we have more verses okay i'll read O oh, best of sages a person who burns incense of agru and camphor before the deity of lord keshava does not take birth again at the yuga's end now this is um, a lesson for me because i i do burn incense but not camphor yeah there's a special incense it's called it's it's made with this uh, agru it's called agru incense so uh, you can order it online Um, okay and uh, i ordered that uh, online last year and i have some so easily it's it's very very inexpensive all of you can order it so you know you're okay. using the actual aguru incense right we all use incense great incense yes. you know some of them are no chemicals of course we want to make sure that there are no chemicals but uh, this is a very special thing so you can order it online it's very inexpensive and camphor of course and again again and again it says uh, not taking birth again so the cause and the effect is totally not related right so <laughs> we, we the, the effect is yeah that's the ultimate liberation no more problems and uh, vaikuntha is uh, no more miseries etc but you choose you do so little but the impact is so much right so that's mm-hmm. what is this month of karthik thank you mother thank you okay anyone else who oh, we didn't hear from uh, please go ahead mother menaka you're there uh, you can unmute yourself uh, mother uh, who else is there pitam baradas is there om verma is there uh, go ahead don't feel shy you can read okay if you if nobody is reading we'll just start reading you missed the opportunity or tiger of sages a person who during the month of kartik eagerly hears the topics of lord krishna delivers a hundred generations of his family so here it says um, um you know just hearing the topics of krishna and where do we get the topics of krishna from shrimad bhagavatam from chaitanya charitamrita because chaitanya mahaprabhu is not different from lord krishna there are so many past and chaitanya bhagavat is full of past times compared to chaitanya charitamrita but uh, the standard uh, um, you know past times uh, that are there about krishna are in shrimad bhagavatam and we need to jump start the shrimad bhagavatam class as well we didn't have it for the last couple of months but i mean you can all do it from your homes right and especially during this month of kartik eagerly so again that's the key word right eagerly hears the topic uh, topics of not topic it's not one it's not singular eagerly topics of lord krishna and again it, the impact is so much more it's is delivering 100 generations of his family so we don't know we all owe to our ancestors as we know krishna says amongst the ancestors is aryama 
and the importance of shraddh ceremony i'm digressing here a little bit the importance of shraddh ceremonies is repeated uh, in many many uh, cantos of shrimad bhagavatam including narsimha dev is instructing that and uh, we know gadadhar pandit and many of them chaitanya mahaprabhu did uh, the shraddh ceremony in gaya for his uh, father jagannath mishra so it's repeated again and again we just uh, finished this uh, pitrupaksha month uh, ended on 5th of this month uh, it was for, for about 16 days and even in the 7th canto of shrimad bhagavatam narad muni is instructing uh, us to follow this right so um, it's it's there in our scripture it's not like uh, out of context or anything like that so uh, we are here uh, we have in our dna um, you know uh, from our ancestors so it's our responsibility to do what we are supposed to do and the easiest thing you know yeah if you know the tarpanam you can do shraddh ceremony once a year you can do that uh, even if your parents are alive because you are doing it for your parents from the previous lives as well that's what it is said but anyway so here it said that the easiest way to deliver you know instead of doing you know you don't have time or you don't have the uh, you know don't know how to do the tarpanam and the shraddh process you can deliver your ancestors by um you know eagerly hearing the topics of lord krishna so it's a beautiful beautiful verse again uh, today um, uh, keshavanand prabhu was supposed to speak to us on the importance of hearing shravanam which is the first of the nine forms of devotional service so, so we missed him and that's why for those of you who joined us sorry to disappoint you but hopefully you are benefiting from the contents because it's timely because coming thursday is the start <clears throat> of the month of kartik so importance of hearing uh, about lord krishna okay next anyone else nityam shastra vinodena kartikam yah kripannarah nirdahet sarva papani yagnya yuta phalam labhet a person who in the month of kartika passes the time in past times of studying the holy scriptures burns away all his sins and attains the pious result of performing 10000 yagnas so it's a, it's a kind of reiteration from the previous few verses where they were emphasizing the importance of listening and hearing and reading holy scriptures like shrimad bhagavatam and shrimad bhagavad gita and the chaitanya charitamrita and what is what happens when one does that is all his sins just not one or two all his sins are washed away uh you know there's this in andal they say you know tinil tu saham cheppelo ramba vale all your past karmas your future karmas your present karmas all will be burned away like sins and they attain the pious results of performing 10000 yagnas oh my god yeah so uh, i mean you know how difficult it is to do any <coughs> yagya yagya i mean sacrifice it can be uh nama yagya you know chanting the holy name or through the fire so there are many yagyas but here it says performing 10000 yagyas so it's lot we get a lot by doing a little that's the message that you get from these verses right so do little at the right time during this month of kartik for immense benefit that will come to you and your family members now and for the ancestors in the past as well so uh, based on what we have read uh, it's not like very difficult for us to do it's a sometimes right so we heard the word sometimes earlier when uh, ganapati prabhu read so it says passes the time right like even if we reduce the time that we are spending on other activities during this month of kartik right it's not it doesn't say all the time right so even if we pass some time uh, reduce some of the other sort of wastage uh, that goes uh, in other activities and we use that to to study the holy scriptures and uh, the sins that we have committed knowingly or unknowingly is burnt away and uh, not only the negative things it's not not only the prayas chitta negative things are burnt away but it is also preventive action so those of you who are very familiar with what is corrective action and what is preventive action corrective action is the um, you know the damage is done and then you uh, uh, the damage is already done and then you fix it right so that is corrective action right the phone falls down and the uh, the screen breaks and then you fix it right so that's corrective action uh, but uh, preventive action is uh, yeah you know that the phone will slip and fall once in a while so you put that sort of solid uh, cover on top of the cover so that when it falls down uh, the the screen does not break that's preventive action right so here in this particular verse it's corrective action which is burning away of the sins the damage is already done then you fix it through this small 
uh, uh, work of uh, you know studying the scriptures and then the preventive action is you're doing um, you know so many yagya so you're gaining some credits by by uh, hearing the uh, scriptures hearing from the scriptures okay anyone else varma prabhu you there yes yes sir. would you be kind enough to read this prabhu are you able to read this on the screen uh, you see just one minute प्रयतो नित्यम श्लोक भागवत मुने पूर्ण Okay. Anything to add, Prabhu? Yeah. Actually, the main fact is that we should try to recite Krishna's name every day, not only in Kartik, you know, every day. And we can say like this that, in particularly in you see that in Kartik month. So, just just as you know, in the temple, it was announced that sixteen malas every day, you know. that's very important so but in bhag in this means in this month it is since it is a very sacred month it should we should try to bring more emphasis upon it yeah thank you so in this specific verse uh, you know the specific uh, instruction is you recite the verses of shrimad bhagavatam right so there are two uh, two things you get in uh, doing one thing you get two things right so one is it it talks about uh, the glories of shrimad bhagavatam right so over you know the other puranas as well so it's not like competition or anything like that because it's amala puran and it's it's a uh, um, you know ripe and fruit in the vedic tree of knowledge so here it says the glories of shrimad bhagavatam because during this month of kartik you recite the verses of shrimad bhagavatam then it's it's uh, almost a, uh, it's it's the same Uh, as uh, uh, getting the benefit of reciting all the eighteen Puranas, right? So there are what four hundred thousand verses have, or something. Then, excuse me. Then we have to read Swami Prabhupada's Bhagavatam commentary on Bhagavatam. He has he given very beautiful explanations and purposes for that. And for and for very good devotee, is, the purpose is excellent, and we should try to follow that. Yeah, thank you. And 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 see, it doesn't say that uh, you have to read all these fourteen thousand and ninety-four verses or slash eighteen thousand slokas, right? Recites the verses, right? So again, when we see the trend from the verses that we've been reading from Hari Bhakti Vilas, it's not like uh, you have to do so much, right? Little more than what we are doing, right? So for again, it's all relative, right? So you can't say yeah. Uh, verses one and verses are uh, it could be two or it can be two hundred or it can be two thousand, right? So it it depends on each one of us. If you are already reading one chapter a day, then let's do more than that. If if somebody is not reading, yeah, then let's start off with a few of the verses, right? So it's related. Yeah, you see, actually, so so Prabhupada's book selected verses. It contains about more than one hundred verses from Bhagavatam. so we we can try to read that if a person doesn't have much time so yeah good point good point selected that is that is book is called selected verses is it is online is it is pdf so we should we, we can try to read from that yeah if, if anybody is interested uh, in that and if you don't have those selected verses uh, then uh, just send a note to iskonscarbro@hotmail.com and uh, we will get back to you. we'll send you the pdf as if you're interested okay thank you prabhu for that And also, okay. Anand, here it's it's equivalent. You know that um, if you read uh, the Sri Mat, eighteen uh, Puranas is equal to your reading. Yes. So if you read, yeah, Srimad, even if you read some verses of Sri Mat Bhagavatam, it's yes. uh, read. It's like reading all the eighteen Puranas verse yes. by verse. So that, that's why that's why it's like the glories of Sri Mat Bhagavatam is mentioned here, as well as uh, you know during this month of Kartik, importance of reading Sri Mat Bhagavatam. So it's it's. Yes. it's uh, it's a beautiful verse okay yes 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 who didn't read would like prabhu, to read prabhu what did you say sorry prabhu what did you say about uh, discounts carbro dot in what what was that i missed the point no if somebody um, somebody want, uh, there is there is a, a list of uh, verses uh, selected verses of or or favorite verses of uh, prabhu shila prabhupad right 
Uh, huh. So uh, it's 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 a condensed version of uh, key verses from uh, whole whole of twelve uh, cantos, right? So uh, if if somebody so what uh, Om Varma Prabhu was saying is it'll be great if they start reading that, right? Because it says verses, that's a great uh, starting point. So the recommendation is if somebody needs that and if they don't have it, to send an email to iskonscarbro at hotmail.com and then we'll send it this way. Kimcha aparada sagastra, Kimcha, okay. Aparada sagastra ni patakani mahanti api samate siya hari deva Pujite Kartika Prabhu. It is further said, Lord Hari, the all-powerful Supreme Personality of Godhead, forgives thousands of offenses and a host of terrible sins committed by one who worships him uh, during the month of Kartika. So it is a shortcut that uh, you mm. can nullify it and uh, you can... Um, you can uh, burn all your sins you know which uh, you accumulated uh, in your previous birth and uh, that's what you know when we do i know uh, yesterday was fasting for the egadeshi you know people were doing egadeshi and uh, they want they don't want to come back to this material world they wanted to uh, nullify their sins they wanted to uh, burn their uh, sins so so this is a shortcut you know so uh, in kali yuga people need shortcut you know everyone shortcut uh, what benefit i will get if i do this one if i do that one so uh, so here is uh, the lord is giving uh, it is a simple method you know as to how we can uh, uh, shortcut but this is powerful you know you, yeah. you will be good point benefit. very good point shortcut uh, but at the same time you know obvious we don't need to reiterate this i'm preaching to the converted here because all of us know that we don't um, commit offenses for 11 months and then take advantage of this one month and then next 11 months uh, you know do what yeah. we want and that's not the intent here uh, as we obviously uh, as we all have realized um, but we may be uh, creating um, inadvertent offenses and some inadvertent sins. You know, we talked about this uh, Panchamaha Yajna that each one of us have to do. Uh, Krishna is doing that in the 69th chapter, 78th chapter. We read that, right? In the 10th canto, what he's doing in the uh, 16,108 palaces. And one he does that is one of the things that he does is this Panchamaha Yajna. And it's got nothing to do with fire sacrifice. It's the uh, runas that uh, we owe uh, on uh, we owe to 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 the personality great personalities to devas to rishis to parents to bhutas yeah. to uh, uh, manushas etc right and also yeah. when we are walking when we are driving insects are getting killed so that type of sins inadvertent not uh, you know consciously doing that type of uh, offenses and uh, sins are uh, eradicated through the shortcut as prabhu mentioned thank you prabhu anything to add no, that's all. You know, it is. It's very powerful. It is a hammering verse. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, go in the das. We haven't heard from you again for a while. Yeah. The person who Lord Vishnu offered delicious pies uh, made with sugar and ghee, and then he uh, remained left by the Lord attempt the result of governing every day a great yajna. Uh, th th this, uh, uh, go ahead, Prabhu. Anything to add? Okay. So I think uh, Mother Dwarka mentioned that uh, very nicely when she read the verse that, yeah, we are offering something to Krishna every day. Oh, yes, Why don't yes. we offer something more? And here is the slam dunk uh, example of what we can offer. Uh, it's, it's, it's also giving you the menu on how to make it, right? So what are the two main ingredients in this pie side says, right? So there yes, are variations indeed, yeah. in... But there are variations in paisa, you can call it sweet rice, whatever you may call it, right? But mainly it's with sugar and ghee uh, when we make that uh, and uh, offer it, right? So usually we offer what we are eating and we don't make this some every day, right? Let's face it. You may make, uh, depending on what you eat, you know, like pasta or whatever you may make, uh, you may eat with your family. That's what you like and you offer it to Krishna. So Krishna uh, eats that. But uh, during this month of Kartik, uh, here it says, you know, paisam is one of the, you know, extra ingredients that we can make and offer to the Lord. Um, so, okay, thank you. Okay, we'll move along. We have a few more. Yeah, go ahead. Tulasi and water, then what do you mean? HPV, 92 serve Tulasi. 
Hari Bhakti uh, oh, Sorry, it's Hari Bhakti Vilas. I just put the uh, 92nd okay. uh, verse as well. Uh, mm-hmm. It talks about serving the Tulasi. I just wanted to make sure that, uh, uh, so, you know, if you're thinking, oh, we went through all this, but uh, we are supposed to serve Tulasi. How come you didn't cover it, right? Like I'm just picking the key verses. As you saw, there were 438 verses, right? I'm just picking uh, the verses that uh, all of us can correlate very easily. and But I don't want to miss that serving Tulasi. So that's why I added. Okay, thanks. Serving Tulasi means, uh, you know, uh, Tulasi Aarti and whatever we can do going around, uh, you know, watering the Tulasi, taking the mm-hmm. Tulasi and uh, making sure that the Boga has uh, Tulasi in it uh, when we are offering to Krishna, etc. The whole uh, thing. Okay. Okay. Yes. Anyone else? Okay. If one is unable to offer a lamp, he should light the lamps that others offer. He should carefully protect others' lamp from winds or other disturbances. So this is something that uh, you don't have to worry about. Oh, he's offered it. That means it's already offered. That means I cannot go, don't go too deep into that and, uh, you know, get stuck with that, right? Because even in our temple, when you offer Aarti to Gauranitai, then you are showing it to Radha and Krishna, then Jagannath, Balade, Subhadra, etc. So it's, it's not like, oh yeah, it's already offered. So can we, should we put that lamp out and put new... So here clearly it says, if one is unable to offer a lamp, you should light the lamps that others um, others offer. You should carefully protect. So if, this is this is good because the temple will be open um, during this month of Karthik on Sundays. I think uh, it's uh, three to five, right? Mother Dwaraka and Ganapati. Yes, true. Yeah. yeah, so if you're coming there between three to five, these are the things that you can do, right? If, if the lamp is being used, I'm not sure what's the day, final day, whether it's a stick with um, you know cotton wick, uh, which is uh, dipped in ghee. Um, either way, if you are able to even protect uh, the other lamps from wind, hopefully there's no wind because it's inside the temple, but there can be fan and e- everything. So anything that you do to protect this lamp, you're getting other, uh, you're getting so much of credit, right? So when you do this, it's equivalent to offering the lamp, right? So that that's what it says here. Now it's getting into offering the lamp during this month of Karthi. Okay, anyone else? The glories of offering lamp. The glories of offering a lamp during Kartik. In the in the Sakanda Purana, it is said, when one offer a lamp during the month of Kartik, his sins is many thousands and million times of birth, is half an eye blink. Yeah, perish in half an eye blink. Per- oh yeah, perish in half an eye blink. When one offer a lamb during the month of Kartik, his sin is many thousands and millions of birth perish in half an eye blink. So that is actually said, right? That if we are fortunate to have the opportunity to offer a lamb in the month of Kartik, so many millions and thousands and millions of sins are being perished, like half of a blink of an eye. Yeah. So, so again, when, we, when, when it says uh, offering a lamb, and in other verses of uh, uh, of Hari Bhakti Vilas, it, it talks about, uh, yes, predominantly ghee lamp. And we can't say we don't have ghee in this country, right? So there is uh, you know plenty of ghee we always get. So ghee lamp or sesame oil lamp, right? So it's clearly said either one of them. Sesame is, is it's a very esoteric. It is said that it came from the body of Lord Vishnu. And uh, we already talked about this Tarpanam and Shrad ceremony, you know, when you make this uh, uh, Pinda also for the ancestors, uh, the sesame is a critical point, uh, part of that, right? Uh, you, you mix it with half a banana, rice flour and whatnot. It, you make the, uh, it is said that the, that the sesame seeds uh, vibrate in a particular frequency. And during this month of uh, Pitrupaksha, it, it actually goes in a spiral and the, departed souls are able to come through that pathway. So it's a very uh, esoteric uh, seed. And that's why, you know, for those of you who gotten initiated, uh, you offer black sesame, right? Like a black sesame and the barley mixed with ghee into the agni as well. Uh, so, so during this month of Kartik, you can uh, offer this uh, ghee lamp or sesame oil lamp. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, as it says, uh, since in many thousands and millions of birth, not only what we did, uh, you know, the 11 months prior to this month of Karthik, not only what was done in the 40, 50, 30 odd years before uh, this, this uh, verse that we know about now, 
uh, but uh, many, many millions of lifetimes, whatever we may have done. And it just perishes not uh, in few years time. It just perishes in half an eye blink. So in no time, it perishes. So again, all, all we need to have is that faith when we do this, right? So we need to remember this verse or at least remember the translation. And then when we do this, so expect great result. That's when everything comes together, right? It's not like a standalone. You read this, you, you do this. No, when you're doing it, uh, do it to please the Lord. But you should know that these are the benefits that accrue when you do this. Yeah. Okay, next. We have a few more minutes. We may go a little over time if it's okay, uh, so that we get a composite uh, idea of what we need to do, what we don't should not do. Uh, we haven't, uh, Mahendra Bhagat Prabhu, can you hear us? Can you unmute yourself and read this? Okay, let's move along. Um, anyone else? Uh, hi, Happy. Krishna Prabhuji. Um, um, okay, Prabhuji, can I read? Please. Kimcha. Shrinu Deepasya Mahatnyam Kartike Keshava Priyam Deepa Dane Naviprendra Napuna Jayate Bhuvi. It is further said, Please hear the glories of offering a lamb during the month of Kartika, an offering that is very pleasing to Lord Keshava. O King of Brahmanas, a person who offers a lamb in this way, will not take birth again in this material world. Uh, so it is said over here that those people who offer lamb um, to Lord Sri Krishna for pleasing Lord Sri Krishna will not take birth in this material world again during this month of Kartikya. Yeah, again, as um, you know, Mother Dwaraka and others have said, yeah, we, we do this uh, Every day we offer lamp, uh, we offer ghee lamp in, in a way or sesame oil lamp. But uh, especially when we do the same thing that we are doing. So again, it's not like tremendously different things, uh, heavy lifting during this month of Karthik. We are, you know, the beauty is, I think as Om Varma Prabhu mentioned about the purpose of A.C. Bhaktivinta Swami Srila Prabhupada, this confounded Acharya. Similarly, the, the setup factor for all of us in, 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 in our Brahma, Madhva, Gaudiya, Vaishnava, Sampradaya, these are sort of ingrained into our day-to-day -day activities. Right? Yeah, maybe we may not be reading Damod Rashtakam every day, but offering of the lamp, serving Tulasi, reading the scriptures, uh, etc. is sort of part of our day-to-day -day activity. So it's nothing spectacularly different or way more, oh, I don't have time during this month of Karthik to do this, 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 based on what we have read uh, from these verses, it's like doing the normal things that we as devotees are already doing. And when we do it during this month of Karthik, it's, it's amplified, it's, 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 uh, the benefits are multifold, right? So, uh, so again, offering the lamp, uh, no more uh, birth and death in this material world. Okay, next. Um, Prabhuji, my little brother wants to say, is it okay? Please. Yeah. Tene stam kratu bi sarve kritam tirthava gahanam dipadanam kratamena kartike keshava vagrataha. A person who during the month of Kartika offers a lamb to Lord Keshava has already performed all yajnas and barking in all holy rooms. It is said here that a person in the month of Kartika who lamps uh, who lights. A, a lights to Lord Keshava who lights a lamp, lights a lamp already, already performed the old Ajanas and went to all holy rooms like Yamuna. Beautiful. What's, what's your name? You read it so well. What's your name? Shiva Krishna. And he do, 16, he do 16 rounds. Hari Ball. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what, what is your name again? Shiva Krishna. Okay, fantastic. Beautifully read. So we would like you to read, uh, you know, a couple of more verses. We'll take another five to ten minutes to wrap this up. But uh, we want to hear from you. Wonderfully read. And, um, you know, uh, you, you gave a nice little uh, meaning as well. So w during this month of Kart, you can read it in two different ways, right? So that means you have already performed yagyas and bathing in all holy rivers. That means... This is the pre-qualification, prerequisite for you to offer. So don't take it lightly when you are able to offer. Now you look around, you have roads next to you, cars are going, and many of them don't have an idea of offering lamp to Lord uh, Krishna or Vishnu during, during this month of uh, Damodar, right? So all of 
you have already done all the required egyas you've taken the bath in all the holy rivers for you to be qualified now to offer this lamp you can look at it in one way that's one way and the other way is when you are doing that you get the same benefit of doing all egyas and bathing in all the holy rivers so everybody follows you can you can read it in both ways and both ways are advantages and the message is you know um, offering the lamp is got so much of benefit read is that, is, is that okay yeah okay so can we can we get the same uh, boy to read it if it's possible okay <laughs> thank you for the ಕಾರ್ತಿಕೇಶ in surasana chakra in his hand we will all attain liberation it is it is saying here that the ancestors we our ancestors say that when someone previously lord by offering a lamb to him during the month of kartika then then the lord by by holding the surasana chakra in his hand we round thing we will all attain the lord who at holds the surasana chakra in his hand will all that we will all attain liberation celebration beautiful you know like i'm so um you know pleased and uh, you know all credit to you you have never read this verse let's face it right how many yeah. uh, how many of us have read uh, from hari bhakti vilas before mm-hmm. and you are you are seeing this verse and you're reading it so perfectly so so <laughs> glad that Thank you're you doing it and all glories to you um for <laughs> for reading it so well really hats off to you thank you for ji how old are you my um, dear you're amazing Um, Lavan, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, my unbelievable. Super, super, super. This is yeah, amazing. It, it, all the credit, all the credit goes to your parents. Yes, for bringing you up like that. Thank Fantastic. Thank you, Uddhima Tanji. It, it's not like we put this, it's not like we put this uh, Bhagavad Gita 9.26, Patram Pushpam, Dhirnitai Prabhu, read it, then he can read it fast, right? Because we are used to it. You're, re- you're seeing it for the very first time, pr- perfect pronunciation. Fantastic. Fantastic. thank you so here again you know again and again you can see the the importance of uh, you know offering a lamp and doing this kartik breath and it not only benefits us and our family but also our previous generations and ancestors as well so it is said that the ancestors who may be struggling who may not have gone to the desired uh, destination um and 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 they're saying anyone if someone in our family ple- when you offer the lamp you're pleasing the lord right so that goes without saying it because pleases lord keshava by offering him a lamp during the month of kartik then we will all attain liberation so uh, when 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 krishna is going to samya mani uh, to uh, to look for uh, sandipani muni's uh, son and it is said that he blew his conch and uh, the yeah. whole of hell became vacant right so nobody home yeah. everybody uh, were were uh, liberated, liberated. <laughs> just by blowing his conch right so that's one of the reasons why uh, we blow conch right so it uh, removes all the negative influences uh, mother padmakshi and uh, mother shrimati mother dwaraka dhirnitai all of them blow this conch beautifully when the temple um, you know at the beginning of the you know aarti at the end of the aarti etc so it it uh, that, that's one of the reasons uh, why uh, it was uh you know we do that because it's there in shrimad bhagavatam right but in the yagya, here, in, the yagya in the yagya also we you, we blow that yes <laughs> yeah blowing the conch always dispels all <laughs> negative energy right and yes. and here it is said just by offering the lamp not only we get benefit in this verse clearly it says our ancestors also want us to do they cannot talk to us or when they talk to us we cannot hear but again this is the authentic uh, brahma marga uh, gaudiya vaishnava sampradaya literature and it says that the ancestors are hoping and praying that someone in their family will do that so that they all get liberated so that there is no more suffering right uh, for anyone yeah. so maybe it's a good go it's a good point anand it's a good point anand here you know it's uh, see our forefathers if you if you see my father my my great grandfathers and all but um i know only my father yes i don't know mm. them i know i have no Uh, resemblance you know uh, no uh, features of them you know mm-hmm. but here 
if we do this you know they automatically will go to them you know because we have no form of them yes yeah you you don't know them but then yeah. we yeah. have each one of them in our dna right because yes. how they brought their sons and the grandsons you know don't steal uh, do this go do the right thing so that yeah. was sort of triggered from so far in the line and then their sons their grandsons their grandsons etc etc so who we are today has been sort of molded we are the sort of end product of a line of ancestors right so we are the end product right so yes. we may not be doing this every day of course there is this beautiful uh, uh, verse in shrimad bhagavatam it says devarsi bhutaptana nam prithri nam na king yeah. kornayam rinita where there is it says yeah you don't owe to devars devas or rishis devarsi bhutas to all the uh, uh, bhutas you know all living entities they rishis bhutaptana nam rishis you don't owe owe to anybody if yeah. you are fully surrendered to mukunda devarsi bhutaptana nam to mukunda but now yeah. how many of us so we have about 20 25 of us in today's uh, zoom session how many of us can say yeah i don't owe to anybody Uh, including my ancestors uh, because i'm fully surrendered to mukunda if you're fully surrendered then of course you don't have to worry about it but yeah even if you are only surrendered 99% then we need to do what we are supposed to do that's why this this pancha maha yagya krishna is demonstrating that in the 69 chapter 79 chapter if you read it carefully it talks about that and in so other what verses what do you mean fully surrendered sorry what do you mean fully surrendered ah that's a good question Uh, how do you interpret fully surrendered right so how uh, how do how does everybody feel uh, what would be the definition of fully surrendered you know when we when we think of surrender yeah you can think of the ultimate surrender uh, through past times of uh, draupadi when uh, her sari was being disrobed right that is that is surrender gajendra when crocodile was killed we know that past time that is surrender right and when uh, nanda maharaj's uh, uh, leg was eaten uh, or or the snake sudarshana snake was uh, swallowing him and then he said my dear krishna i fully surrender to you those are the verses from shrimad bhagavatam about surrender right so these are like the ultimate uh, pinnacle of uh, surrender right so that's 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 the glimpse of what uh we know of the word surrender right and krishna says of course in bhagavad gita um you know surrender unto me right like uh, mentioned uh, uh, towards the end as well uh, so you know whether that is part surrender during exigencies or is it all the time right so it's such a vast topic for us to develop um, you know any time when we are in trouble or more importantly not even in trouble surrender means not just uh, surrendering to the plan of krishna as well like i don't know what, uh, what krishna's plan is right because when you are completely surrendered even when we go through the troubled mm-hmm. times right not only you get a promotion or we get something oh thank you krishna i surrendered to you you gave me all the good things but then we surrender to krishna's plans even when it is not going our way right so that's one way to know that that's one way to realize uh, that we are surrendered or not but i would let uh, others also weigh in on this how do you define fully surrendered surrendering fully anybody so when you completely depending on krishna mm-hmm. is completely depending it, very good point yeah completely depending on krishna um even when things don't go the way that we want because uh, you know you know we have to uh, rely on krishna's timing not on our timing and even if we go through some troubles which all of us will go through right we have a life that is a roller coaster right does not matter whether you are whether you are chanting 64 rounds or 16 rounds or 8 rounds if you are not initiate does not matter this material life will be a roller coaster uh, life it will be topsy turvy up and down life but then through these scriptures we will get the mood uh and 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 the mentality for us to ride through these um, uh, ups and downs and uh, try to be in the normal in the median right so uh, padam so, padam 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 vipadam padam padam yat vipadam na tesam right so there is a danger at every step uh, um, parsham parsham now it's every touch there is danger right uh, due to covid yes. we touch this there is virus touch that there is virus right so that's the nature of our material life so uh, so goind das um, you know we so so based on this we know that we are not fully surrendered is that a fair statement yes correct right right fully surrendered that's why i asked 
yeah if you're not fully surrendered then then we have to do what we are supposed to do following these scriptures because these scriptures are there repeating all these things why does it say it does not say you're already surrendered we, there is no need of scriptures then why the scriptures are there telling us what to do what not to do because we are not fully surrendered right so here it's our duty to to take care of our ancestors as well we don't need to do anything out of the way you're not doing some a uh, worship of ancestors here you are just offering the ghee lamp to krishna and as a result someone else is getting benefit there's no correlation between the cause and the effect right you are offering to krishna but krishna is so merciful he looks like okay who are all your ancestors let me all let let them all be liberated right so that's the beauty and uh, the merciful nature of the supreme lord uh, so to answer your question uh, govind das prabhu prabhu i like to add one more thing i mean one space is fully surrendered can you hear me prabhu yes yeah once yeah. we are fully surrendered like you said whether it's in our favor or not all the time depending on krishna and always doing the right thing whether somebody is looking or not looking always doing the things that is pleasing to krishna then only it will work i think you know always doing the right thing treating everybody equally doing the right thing at every step and every moment of our life then it works yeah even and, even when we are going through trouble doing the right thing right uh, uh, so so again it comes to um, you know not judging the book by the cover you know uh, not putting up a face outside but inside is different and we do things when people are watching i think that's what you're saying right we doing things when people are watching but not doing the same thing when people are not watching is that what you mentioned in a yeah. way yes yeah it's a good point right like it, it, this is nothing to get credit Because or discredit he is watching us from seated in whatever every step he is watching and so many other witnesses are watching the sky is watching the sun is watching the earth mother earth is watching so many people are watching anyway they are noting beautifully you said yeah. beautifully so i would like uh, anybody to uh, to narrate that verse that uh, mother just mentioned there are so many witnesses any clue anybody is this the canto ajamil pastime sixth canto beautiful beautiful 6 142 i think uh, sixth canto but 42nd verse i think it's first i'm not sure but it goes like this suryo agni kam marudevaga somaga sandhya agni disaga kam kuhu swayam dharmeti ete deyasya sakshinah there are 13 witnesses to all our activity so we don't uh, need to get credit for what we do i did this uh, you know i did this again and again or Uh, when we don't do things that uh, uh, which is the right thing when others are not seeing but still there are 13 witnesses okay that that's what you're mentioning right mother is that what your point is yes yes prabhu and also prabhu you said uh, uh, like uh, some of the points you said like uh, krishna did that panja yakya like uh, so what are we what did he really i forgot like if you can at the end yeah you can read that uh, if you read that from the 69th chapter right uh, it talks about what he does on a daily basis right so he's a householder bhagavata of course shrimad and... bhagavata yeah 69th okay. chapter read the 69th and 70th chapter it doesn't talk about many many verses about this panchamaha yagya so if anybody is uh, interested in the reference to panchamaha yagya please send a, a note to iskonscarbro@hotmail.com or if you have my email send it to me these are all important parts of what we can do as householders right so we owe to the devas so how can you offset that um, you know runas or the debts to the lord and to the uh, servants of the lord by going to the temple by cleaning the temple by giving donation and all those things you can by chanting the holy names of the lord by reading the by, by, those second thing is rishi runa so second of the panchamaha yagya is how do you offset your debts to the rishis like veda vyas and shila prabhupad also who's given all this books to so when we read those and we internalize it and we teach others as well as me but the important thing is we changing that you know like that so third is pitri pitri you know if our parents are alive you know take care of them walk your talk not just you know take care of your parents if they are in the same country if they are in a different country if they are dead do the tarpana or shraddh which is recommended by narsimha dev manusha yagya right so anybody who comes to your house is equal to lord vishnu it is said in our scriptures right 
so somebody unknown uh, uninvited visitor comes or what you can do is you know practically speaking when you're driving somebody cuts you you know the normal thing is you get angry so let let's not get angry right like uh, show your hand when somebody gives you a way you cannot please all the 8 billion people but you can please the uh, manushas who come in contact with you on a daily basis i you know every time i travel in a flight for my work there's always some older prabhu or mata ji they struggle to put their box you know in the overhead bin you know there you go you put something not to get credit but these are part of our normal day to day things and then um, you know a bhutaruna is you know taking care of tulasi switching off the electricity when it is not needed don't use the water uh, uh, more than what you need right these are practical aspects of what we can do scientifically also it makes so much of sense right so it's there if if, if anybody is interested i've already compiled uh, the the quotations about Uh, pancha mahayagya from uh, from our scriptures so if you are interested more in this because these are practically implementable very easy to follow okay is that okay mother you can send me a note if you are interested in that yeah prabhu can you please send it to me this and yeah, yeah send me an email send me an email and then i'll respond back because i don't know which email who uses so send a note to iskon scarbro@hotmail.com or if you know my email send it to me and then i'll respond back is that okay okay whatever you need send it and uh, we we will respond back to you not a problem at all that's what we are there for right we'll get uh, we'll give it to you or if we don't have it i'll make sure that i'll get it from wherever it is and give it to you okay so i think um, we are uh, a little over time i think it's a good uh, sort of uh, um, you know wetting the appetite as far as uh, what we should do why it is important for us to follow uh the instructions that is given in our scriptures uh, as to what to do what not to do during this month of kartik of course there are 438 verses right so we can uh, we can continue to have this whenever we get an opportunity uh in the next 3 uh, to 4 weeks if we don't have a speaker i can always uh, you know on that particular date like today last minute i'm not sure what happened to keshavan and prabhu internet issues or what but in a way we didn't uh, waste our time we we used this to go through some of these critical verses from hari bhakti vilas so thank you for uh, taking part in this thank you for reading when you read it we are learning from you especially for this 11 year old boy and um, you know thank you for wonderfully reading this and uh, mother uh, dwaraka and shrimati and padmakshi dirnita govindas prabhu you know everyone uh, ganapati prabhu who who did a fantastic job uh, today for making this very beneficial to all of us so hopefully all of you benefited until next time but have a wonderful wonderful auspicious uh, month of damodar starting this thursday hare krishna to everyone shila prabhu pad ki jai thank you prabhu thank you prabhu thanks lord thank you prabhu thank you prabhu ji nanwa hare krishna dhanwan pranam hare krishna dhanwan pranam hare krishna